Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather and this is Create Your Own Cozy. On today's video, I'm gonna be updating five items that I either got from the thrift store or that I made myself to use to run my booth. Now, you can apply these same techniques to stuff that you wanna sell in your booth or to use in your own home, but today's video is totally how I grabbed some stuff from the thrift store or from my basement and made my own business sign, did a business card holder, and then I finished the business sign a little bit ago and ha almost had this video ready for you, but I found this really cool shelf that's gonna be perfect for a problem spot that I have in my booth where it's really narrow and I have a um, I have a column that I need to work around. So I updated that this week, which helped me finalize this video because if I waited much longer, the information was gonna be so old, you've been like, why are you using old stuff? So if you wanna see how I updated these items, stick around. The first project in today's video is going to be my business sign that I'm gonna put in the booth. Uh, but you can apply this knowledge to any type of sign that you would want to make for your own home or to resell. First thing I'm going to do is take this very furry barn wood frame that my friend Jenny, who likes to give me free stuff, gave me a while ago. I've been kind of holding on to this because I loved the size of it and how it was a square instead of a rectangle. And I really had this vision for a two-tone look for my sign. So I just sanded down the furriness of the barn wood and then went down to my basement and found this piece of very lightweight stainable plywood. The important thing is that you pick a lightweight plywood so that your sign doesn't become too heavy. Then I cut it to size and I wanted this to be a white with wood look. So I'm using my farmhouse paint, white ash paint. It is more of an off-white, but I'm really liking the way that that looked. Next, I took my graphic and got it printed out in poster form at Office Max. Originally, I was going to do this on my Cricut, but the size that I wanted to make it was way too big for the size of my Cricut. So I just printed it out and decided I'm going to use this as a template anytime I want to make a sign like this. I basically just used my graphic in the graphite paper and traced every single little bit. Now you can see that in my logo right there, there are some brush marks. I did not do that because I thought that would be super meticulous, but it did take a while to do this. As you can see that there's just like a basic outline right there. And do you know what I did? I turned the TV on. I watched some YouTube videos and I just used this painter's pen and just colored it all in. And I thought about, do I wanna just have someone print this? And I was like, wait a second, my business is creating your own cozy. It's all about creating it. And um, it helps me just be reflective while I was making this of, oh my gosh, how cool is this that I am making a sign for my booth? So I ended up, I did the whole thing with one coat of this marker pen and decided I really liked two coats of the marker pen. And then I did kind of sand over it lightly so that it didn't look like freshly colored, so to speak. And then I flipped it over, made sure it was straight, used my staple gun to make sure that it was laying flat against the whole thing. And I am super happy with how this turned out. And every time I, booth, I go to my booth, I am so proud of this one. Now this next one is an eight by 10 graphic that I had my graphic designer who designed my logo create for me. 
um, to put inside my booth. It, it basically cost me under $2 just to get this printed um, at Office Max. And it has my logo and then a QR code for my YouTube channel and then all the ways that people can follow me on social media. But if you don't have a YouTube channel, just keep in mind like you could do this with your business Facebook page or your Instagram account as well if that is what you're trying to get your customers to go to. It's like it's an easy way. People can just take a picture of it when they're in, their, in your booth. And um, I think since COVID has happened, a lot more of us are a little bit more comfortable with using QR codes. So that has been helpful for us. So I'm just cutting this down to size to fit in an eight by 10 um, picture frame. I thought I was gonna use one, but I didn't like how it looked and ended up grabbing one that had been in my basement and I used to use in my home and just covered it in apothecary, surprise, surprise, and some white wax and have a nice little business sign in my booth. The next thing I'm going to show you is a crate that I found at the Goodwill. I believe I paid around $4 for this crate and it had a lot of yellow to the wood, which I was not a super fan of. Let's see. Yeah, $3.99 for this crate. So what I ended up doing with this one is just covering the whole thing with some watered down antiquing wax. You can see in the sun how much I just, I'm not a super fan of this color. Now, my idea with this was just to use this in kind of like the corner to raise up some of my baskets. Um, I do have it listed for sale, but my thought was I could use it to get some height whenever I move stuff around. Um, it's, if someone wants to buy it, cool, but in my mind, I'm just using it for height and I want the color to not clash with what I normally carry in my booth. And here you can see it in use. This next project was something I thrifted a while ago and I've been looking at it saying, why did I buy this? Um, <laughs> but I decided this would be perfect to upcycle and stick my business cards in. So after cleaning it up, I realized it totally needed shellac. Um, and then I needed to cover up this little screw hole and I did it with some air dry clay. This looks like a project that somebody made um, on their own at home. You can tell by the heavy um, need for shellac. And um, I just covered it with two, two plus, two and a half, so two coats and then some touch ups with my go to farmhouse paints paint and then distressed it and I think it's a perfect container for my business cards. Now this last project I am super excited about. I recently found this one at Goodwill for $10. And I had a problem space in my booth where I didn't want the back of a shelving unit to be toward the aisle. And this one was thin enough 
that it was going to do the trick. Originally, I thought, let's just keep it this raw wood color, and I did some sanding, and I really did not like what was happening. There's still like this orange undertone. I didn't like how it was sanding down, and when I did some cleaning, you can see that it was a totally a bleeder. So I covered it in shellac. High inside, I should have done about three coats of shellac. I did one and then started on it with some milk paint and then had some spots where it bled through. And then I shellacked over the spots where it bled through. And then I did another coat of milk paint and there were still some other spots. So whoever did whatever this varnish is, it, it just, it needed lots of shellac. I should have just done three coats, but you know what? It worked out doing three coats along the way as well. I wanted this piece to be a really crusty piece to use as a display for when I brought glassware and other new items into the booth. I wanted it to be old in the background and put some new in front of it. So at first I started with some white milk paint. Originally in my mind, I wanted this to kind of be white. And after I realized how much, oh, and I'm also trying to use up all, some, all my supplies. So after I realized that I was kind of running low on the white milk paint, I did a coat of the white. As you can see that totally fell down on me when I brought it outside. I did the coat of the white, and this is when I first saw some of the bleed through, and was like, I am not gonna have enough of this white left. Let's switch over to this Harbor color, which reminds me a lot of Apothecary from DIY. But I did a one-to-one -one ratio with powder and warm water, mixed it really well, and covered the whole thing in this Harbor color. And in my mind, I was like, well, let's do the Harbor color and get it in all the crevices, and then we can kind of just do a white over top of it. But I loved how around two and a half coats of this Harbor color looked. So I kept it, I went outside with the orbital sander and got off all the um, extra flakes. It's a lot easier to do it with um, a power tool and also to help kind of um, age the corners and stuff so that it was looking like this super old piece. My next step is to bring it inside and use some dark wax because I wanted it to bring out all the little cracks in this. And guys, I am so happy with how this one turned out. Cannot wait to get it in my booth and solve my problem. And also, I'm pretty proud of this one.
Did you guys have a favorite? Let me know in the comments below. This channel is full of thrift flips, furniture makeovers, booth creations, and running a booth, and the ins and outs of, I'm in month three now, the ins and outs of running your own booth, as well as thrift hauls, and just coming along this journey with me. If you are interested in that, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button if you like this video. Let me know what your favorite project was today. And consider hitting that notification bell to all so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Guys, thank you so much for stopping by. And I will see you guys again in the next video. Bye.